Oh, hey there. Welcome back. This is my makeup drawer. Here we go. Here you can see. So today we're doing a shot my stash. Um, I've got a very itchy ear. Please hold. Please hold. Okay, we're doing a shot my stash uh, and we're going to pull for like spring kind of makeup. Um, seeing what we have, just playing about really. We're going to do a get ready with me at the end with the products that we picked as always. But yesterday was such a beautiful day. Was it yesterday or the day before? I don't know. I went out one day. I know. Shocker. I left the house and it was sunny and it was warm and it was beautiful. Today, however, it is raining. Um, so I guess I, I spoke a little bit too soon. But it got me in the mood for spring, for brighter fun colours, for, yeah, just all the spring goodies. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a spring themed makeup look today. So if this is your first time here with a Shop My Stash video, as I said, I go through all of my makeup collection, I pick out a full face of makeup, and then I do a get ready with me at the end with the products. I chat about life, I catch up with you guys, it's a good fun time, but you know the drill. Just before we jump into it, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me uh yeah and let's let's jump into it so you can see we have primers over there and concealers here um i'm actually gonna pick my elf power grip i know this isn't very spring theme but um i recently have been working on my ofra one and this is the only other one that isn't in a project right now so i just want to play around with it give it another go give it some love um, yeah, not exactly spring, but we move. Short mustaches also give me a really, really good excuse to play around with makeup that I'm not panning. If you are, again, new to my channel, you may not know I am an active project panner. I'm doing about a bazillion project pans. So I do get overwhelmed quite easily. It just gives me a little bit of a break from those things. All right, concealer, what do we want? Um, is there like a spring theme <laughs> concealer? I guess... My AOA ones are kind of spring theme. They've got like little, a cat on it. Can you see? Is that spring? It's got like a, a pastel pink. You know what? This'll do, this'll do. This is AOA concealer in fair ivory. I am currently very close to finishing one of these, which I'm so excited about. It's in my project pan drawer, but um, yeah, we're gonna do another shade. I'm glad that it is getting warmer because I have two darker shades of this and hopefully they are my excuse to use them. So yeah, pastel pink and a little cat. That's as close to spring theme as I think we're gonna get for concealer. Okay, so I've moved you to the other part of this drawer. We're gonna pick foundations. Honestly, since my no buy and my panning journey, I have got no makeup left. <laughs> I know that's so dramatic, but like I've only got three foundations that I'm not actively panning and that kind of scares me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, What do I want, glowy or matte? So my NYX Born to Glow obviously is beautiful. It's very glowy, very full coverage. You know what? I think spring is all about like rebirth and like glowing and growing. And I'm reading way too much into this, but I'm gonna pick this for that reason. Because yeah, I wanna be dewy. I wanna look like the, the morning frost melting. This is getting out of hand. I'm gonna pick this. Um, <laughs> That was me trying to convince myself that that was a spring product. Okay, I actually wanna pull this. So you guys may know I'm really not into cream products. I'm not into cream bases at all. I think they're a big fat waste of time um, because you can just do that with, with a powder. But you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. It's not focusing, that's so rude. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. I do kind of have a look in mind for this. But um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not too sure if it's gonna come in handy or if it's just gonna be an extra step that is unneeded. Powder, we'll just go with Airspun. Why not? I haven't used it in a while. It's a tried and true, love Airspun. We're gonna go with it. All right, so then I'm gonna take you down to my cheek drawer. Okay, so these are like my cheek palettes. They're not very organized. Um, 
yeah, that's gonna have to do for now. Um, I've been waiting for an excuse to pull this blush for so long. It looks so manky in here. This is from the Revolution um, Rose Fizz Glow palette. And I depotted it because that packaging just broke on me so badly. It was genuinely awful. But this is what it looks like. I'll give it a swatch for you. I'm hoping you can see. It's just like, it's so beautiful. It does remind me of NARS Orgasm. It's got like a slight kind of yellowy shift to it. You can't even see it. You can't even see it. It's so beautiful though. I'm so excited to pull this. I've been wanting to for a while. All right, so single blush bronzers and highlighters now. Um, spring themed bronzers. I mean, is this kind of spring themed? I am leaning so far right now. Oh my God. Is this kind of spring themed? This is my Kiko Milano bronzer. It is massive. It is such a big boy, um, but it's kind of got like flowers on it right? Look at this packaging. And I'd say that like blue is kind of a spring color. Yeah, let's, let's pull that. And then finally highlight. Again, there's not really a spring themed highlight that I have, I don't think. Yeah, there's not really a spring themed products. So I'm going to go with Becca. I'm going to use this because I don't know if I like this. Um, I bought it from TK Maxx when Becca was closing down and I got into the hype. Everyone told me that Becca highlighters were the best highlighters in the world. So I bought it and I was unimpressed. So I want to get another use out of this to see if I actually like it. Because yeah, the hype just wasn't lived up to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this. Okay, eyeshadows as always is a job and I'm currently sat on my studio floor because I can't reach that far down. So the first palette that jumped out to me, I'm gonna have to move this camera to get this out, oh my God. The first palette that jumped out to me was this. This I know doesn't look very spring themed from the outside. I don't know, I feel like it's got some nice spring colors. Like these purples are gorgeous. I think we could make a really nice look with this, but I think I'm gonna pull this and a companion palette because I think it just needs something a little bit extra. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm thinking maybe this. Is this like really summer though? This definitely screams more summer than spring, but it definitely still has those like spring colors that I'm kind of looking for. Um, like this yellow especially is so beyond beautiful. It's got this like greeny lime shade. I know it kind of looks yellow on camera, but it is so gorgeous. It is so beautiful. I might pull that or maybe I'll pull like one of my yellow single shadows. This is what this palette looks like. I was going to go for like a bright neon yellow, but I'm thinking this like pastel kind of yellow is so springy and like, yeah, this screams spring. So I'm going to pull this single. But I still don't really know what I want to put on the lid. So I don't know. So we've got these three kind of eyeshadow products that we're going to play with. And I'm going to look up in my top drawers now for like super shimmery pigments and like sparkly things to put on the lid. All right, we'll start with lip products, I think, just because they're the first ones in the drawers. So... Mm, what do I want? I'm thinking more like a kind of pinky color, you know, spring, pinky. This is kind of jumping out at me. This is Revolution Pro. You can't even see it. Hang on. <laughs> Let me rearrange my life for you. Yeah, this is Revolution Pro. It is, what is it? A Hydra Gloss. And it is in the shade Become. It's like quite a nice pinky shade. I think that'll be pretty good to, to put on the lips. I think it'll go with the blush shade as well. Yeah, let's take that. And now the fun part. What do we want? I, I don't want any of these. You know what's jumping out at me? This one. Can you see the shift of this one? Look how pretty that looks. This is the shade Lyra. 
And let's try and see if I can get the flip on this. Uh, you know what, I'll turn the brightness like all the way down. So, oh, there you go. Out of focus as well, oh my God. This is looking insane. Look how beautiful that looks. <gasps> There's like green and yellow and purple and pink, a bit of orange in it as well. Yes. Okay, it doesn't look as amazing <laughs> with the brightness turned all the way up, but I think that this is going to be so beautiful all over the lid, and I'm so excited to play with this. I don't think I want to pull any other pigments, so let's go in back. Liner is one of those things that I like to kind of pick out while I'm doing the look, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't really know what the look's going to turn out like, so I'm going to put liner away. So yeah, I think that's us done. Um, so I'm going to come back to the get ready with me and we're going to have a chat. We're going to have a catch up and we're going to cake our face with all of this makeup. And I'm so goddamn excited. Okay, I'll see you around the front. Okay, so I am back and I only got distracted for about 20 minutes, which is pretty damn good for me. Normally in these shop moustaches, I will go away for like hours and then be like, oh yeah, I'm filming a video. Um, but yeah, I was watching a Rachel Maxi video and honestly, she makes me want to just make everything. So anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna start now. I did prime my eyes and we're gonna start with this palette. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with like these cool tone purples. I wanna do a look that was inspired by Angelica Nyqvist. Um, She just does, can, I'm sorry, can we just take a minute? Angelica Nyqvist does the most beautiful makeup looks and I wanna recreate every single look that she makes. Um, Yeah, just wanted to put that out there. We're gonna use these two purples first of all. I think this is a shimmer, but it's not very impactful. So I think we'll get away with it in the crease. So I'm just gonna go in with it and just hope for the best. And I'm gonna start packing it on the outer corner of my eye. So it was Easter yesterday. <laughs> I'm filming this on, um, I was gonna say Good Monday, Bank Holiday Monday. And um, you wanna know what I did for my Easter Sunday? First of all, I didn't know it was Easter until my mum messaged me and said, happy Easter. So that was good, but I spent my Easter Sunday rearranging my whole upstairs because the people next door are the loudest people I've ever met <laughs> and I've not had a good night's sleep in too long. So my studio was the back bedroom and then my bedroom was the front big room. Rearrange that. This is now the big noisy room that I film in and I had the best night's sleep I think I have ever had in my life last night. I slept so much. It was silent. It was peaceful. I wasn't woken up at 2 a.m. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it because I'm moving out very soon. Thank God. Um, but you know what, I missed having a bedroom because I was camping in my studio for about a week to get away from the noise. Um, and I just missed having a bedroom, <laughs> you know? Little things, little things. Having a bedroom, I missed so much. I learned yesterday that a double duvet is heavier than it looks, especially when you're doing it on your own. If, if you are planning on carrying a double duvet anywhere, get some help because I almost died multiple times. I've got my double bed back. Oh my God, I've missed my double bed so much. And yeah, hopefully <laughs> I'll actually be able to sleep because show season's coming up very soon. I've been in rehearsals a lot, but um, if I don't sleep when it comes to actual show days, I will kill someone. <laughs> I will walk in, my studio call is 8.30 in the morning, I will walk into that theater and I will be like, don't talk to me. <laughs> it's for everyone else's sanity and mine that I took myself out of that situation and rearranged my whole upstairs. It was brilliant. It was great. <laughs> 
my studio is now like the big bedroom um, and then my actual bedroom is a lot smaller which kind of sucks but you know what for a good night's sleep I'll take it okay even though this shade I think is a shimmer it's not a very impactful shimmer at all it is working very nicely just as a matte on the outer part of my lid so that's good I didn't want it to be like super shimmery so I think just with the same brush I'm gonna go in with like the lighter matte next to it and just start blending that out a little bit how weird is it that I'm not starting with a black that's pretty strange pretty strange for me but you know what it's spring it's all about lightness and like pastels and all that kind of stuff i've actually like i have a theory i actually think i'm a little bit autistic um because i have a thing about noise which isn't the best when i live in a terrace house um but i get really freaked out when it comes to like other people's noise i can deal with like a car going by or like an airplane or like things like that but other people's noise, like hearing other people talk through the wall and hearing like the woman next door screaming, it really, it really upsets me. And it really like, I don't even know what the word is for it, but it really gets to me. I really don't like it. It's probably comes from like living in my apartment from hell and then living with like an alcoholic for a while, like coming in at 3 a.m., but like it really, I just really makes me a little bit too upset than it probably should. <laughs> um, like I know it's not that big a deal, but like, yeah, I'm not, I don't like it. I even get like really self-conscious. Like I know the people can hear me next door. It makes me very self-conscious, but like you girls got to earn some money. So sorry. <laughs> but like even that, like saying that hit, like I earn money from talking about colorful makeup online. How mad is that? Can we just, can we just take a minute <laughs> to appreciate that? That is insane. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base and I'm gonna put this like in the inner part of the lid. I really don't like this product, but you know what? <laughs> We're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I really think my next declutter is gonna be like getting rid of these bases. Was that too much? I have a feeling it was. I don't even know what brush I need to use with these. Ah. No, I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go with my gut and just start like tapping this out. But no, I'm so excited to move away. I'm going back to my place in the countryside after my show's over. Literally the day after my show finishes, <laughs> I'm moving out, which is gonna be a hectic, few days nine finishes on the 25th of may and then i'm moving out on the 26th literally get me out of here as fast as possible please i can't wait for nine to be over because we all hate the show and yeah can't wait to leave because i want a good night's sleep <laughs> see this yellow it did nothing what did this do it did nothing so like why would i keep these that's the thing they do nothing oh i don't i don't like them I really don't. And I put a good blob on as well. If you guys use the P. Louise bases, like the coloured ones, and you've got them to work for you, please let me know. Because, like, what do they do that an eyeshadow couldn't do? And that's what I feel about, like, cream cheek products as well. Why are you putting an extra layer on when most people just go in with a powder as well anyway? Like, I just, I don't get it. I've never been in the cream phase. You guys know cream makeup is not my jam, really. Never has been. I doubt it ever will be. All right, now we've put that air on our eyes. Because <laughs> that's literally all it was. It did nothing. I'm going to go in with that pastel yellow. And I'm going to pop that on the inner part of the eye. See, that pastel just did so much more. Why would I ever use a base and like a cream that is so much harder to like use? 
and I could just do this. So yeah, let me know what you guys did for Easter. I'm not a holiday person. Like if it's not Christmas or my birthday, I don't really care. I live far away from my family, um, so I don't really see them much. As I said, I literally forgot it was Easter until my mum messaged me <laughs> and wished me happy Easter. When you work and when you like, I don't know, live away, for me especially, it just doesn't cross your mind. Like I can't travel back every weekend. That's what I feel. I feel like there's a new holiday every weekend. Like I swear Mother's Day was two days ago. Like <laughs> it goes mad, especially when I have like a high energy job as well. Like, trust me, theater is rough. You leave that dance studio feeling like you've run a marathon. Okay, I'm not really sure what base I wanna do for that pigment. I know I definitely want a base. I honestly might just carry this mat down onto the lid and then just use that. This definitely isn't a look that is very me. But you know what, I really like it. I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of Inglot Duraline on a flat brush as my glitter glue. Okay, I just tap Lyra over the top of that. And oh, wow. I feel like I haven't used this shade in like ever. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, hang on. It's always better in low light to show super shimmery pigment. Look how bad my skin is, by the way. Yeah, it's got a little bit worse. But anyway, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna turn that back up and imagine, how did I, I just forgot how I zoomed. Yeah, we're gonna imagine that my skin looks as amazing as it does right now. No, I've just been really stressed. Like all the stuff about Max, my dog nearly died, if you didn't know that. Um, and then obviously my period's coming. It's coming, she's here. Um, yeah, that's always nice. I don't track them, but like I just know because my skin will just have an absolute hissy fit. Alrighty go then, I'm gonna spend about, hang on, where's, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna spend about 20 minutes trying to clean up all this fallout. And then we're gonna come back to do the base together. Um, I was gonna do some graphic lineup. I think I quite like it, you know, how it is. Is that, it's in my hair. We're not gonna get all of these off my face, but we're gonna pretend like we are. Um, and yeah, I'll be back in a second. Bye 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 bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, tried to get as much as possible off my face, but you know, there's still gonna be some there. Um, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. I mean, you saw it and we picked it together. You remember, like, what, 10 minutes ago? I picked this up because I was intrigued by the milk makeup Hydro Grip prim Primer, is that what it's called? I don't know. But like, if you think I'm spending 30 pounds on a primer, you got another thing coming. So when this was released, I was so excited. But like, it's not as sticky as I thought it would be. If I paid 30 pounds for a primer and it was like this, I'd be so annoyed. <laughs> like, I still like it, I still think it works. But from what everyone was saying online, I was expecting it to be like, I don't know. I don't know, what's sticky? Glue? <laughs> I'm not with it. No, I was expecting it to feel like I just rubbed a Pritt stick on my face. But I don't know, it's not, it's not that sticky. I don't think so anyway. Maybe that would work. Do you think that would work? Just like rubbing a Pritt stick on your face? I mean, it definitely like stick makeup, right? I don't know, someone tried that, someone's probably tried that. I mean, yeah, someone's definitely tried that. Let me know, um, cause I'm very curious now. I'm glad I went for a glowy foundation as well. I just feel like a matte foundation wouldn't fit the vibe. We're going for like kind of forest fairy today. Glowy, glowy, yeah, a hundred percent. So yeah, I've been dating. Oh, get me. I've been dating. 
there is a guy um that I've seen twice he seems really nice like he's really really nice so far so I'm very happy yeah I don't know I don't know I'm not putting all my eggs in a basket eggs <laughs> I'm so funny I'm so hilarious easter eggs <laughs> stop um no um i'm not putting all my eggs in one basket like i've only seen him twice but like he seems really really nice um excited to see him again um yeah we're seeing each other again at the weekend i don't know i don't know i've loved being single though like i've been single about 10 months now i've loved being single it's been amazing i don't know i just feel really good about myself right now and i'm not sure what it is like, I think I've dropped so many pressures that, like, drama school and, like, relationships held and, like, all that kind of stuff. And I'm just feeling so good and so confident about myself. Well, that was before I looked in the mirror at my skin. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I love myself. It's great. <laughs> like, yeah, something's just flipped in my brain, I think. Um, obviously, Maxi. <laughs> nearly dying wasn't that great but something's flipped in my brain that is like you know what we're amazing we got this we are thriving we are living all the stresses that you were worrying about forget them i just hope this isn't a temporary thing that i'm gonna crash out of in like a week and then be like stressing to the max again because that's kind of something that i do but I don't know, like, I feel so good right now. And I'm so happy because, like, about damn time, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna do another cheeky layer of this foundation, I think, just because my skin needs a little bit of help today. Like, Mother Nature's coming to do her business and wreck my life. So I'm just gonna add, like, very, very thin extra layer just where I need it a little bit. You know what? It might be really good having a noisy studio space because it'll stop me working so much. I am a workaholic. I do not shut down. I think yesterday was the first proper day off that I've had <sighs> in about three months, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah, till Christmas. Like Christmas, New Year was probably the last like proper day off I had. Obviously, apart from when my dog almost died, but I'm not counting that. Um, that was emotional leave. That wasn't a holiday. That wasn't a nice cheeky day off. Yeah, I'm not counting that. But like, yeah, maybe I won't want to spend as much time in here because it's so loud. See? Boom. I have ordered and everyone's laughed at me for this, but like you guys are my friends. So I know you won't judge me and laugh at me. I have ordered ear defenders. <laughs> I've ordered ear defenders, okay, because I can't wear earplugs because I get a lot of ear infections, uh, which makes living here even better, really. Um, so I can't wear earplugs. The last time I wore earplugs, I was deaf for about six months. If you guys remember that, you're a trooper. Um, so I'm very scared of earplugs. So I thought, well, I'm gonna get ear defenders instead <laughs> because then, I can have a good night's sleep and I can block out all the noise without risking everything. I like to wipe off all the foundation that I put on my smile lines because I do get quite bad sinkage. And this is the only thing that's helped. If you have lines anywhere, get like some micellar water, wipe them down okay and then like powder over it once the redness is gone it changed my life i wish someone had told me that before i spent 250 quid on filler that would have been great should i show you i've been using this one this is my other aoa one this is like a full one this is my one this isn't in a project so it's not really a spoiler for anything but look how close we are to finishing this i'm so excited ah, like finishing makeup gives me so much joy it is kind of mad it is <laughs> now i do have a tiny bit of an issue though because i keep forgetting that it's easter um i haven't been to aldi in about a week and we are on rations right now 
uh, was gonna go, I don't know, I was gonna go someday, realized, oh yeah, I was gonna go on Friday, gonna go on Friday, realized, oh, it's Good Friday, oops. I had a date on Saturday, so I couldn't go on Saturday. Sunday was gonna go, Easter, damn it. And then I was gonna go today and it's bloody bank holiday. So <laughs> we are on rations. I'm probably gonna have some toast for tea. Not good, it's not good. So I will go tomorrow. I'm literally setting an alarm. Oh, I'm meeting a friend in town tomorrow. So I'll text her to bully me to go to Aldi. So that's good. Autumn, if you're watching this, gal. We need to go to Aldi. Okay, just powdered with my powder puff. I never powder my entire face with a loose powder. So that was an experience. We'll see what happens, but ye old trusty. Um, what else do I need to do? My cheeks, my whole cheek routine, Caitlin. Just minor things. Okay, Ugh, a bronzer has no right being this beautiful and it smells like coconut i know this is old news i know everyone knows this already but like every time i pull this out to use it i just i have to let people know kiko is so underrated here in the uk like we can't get it very easily in the uk um in europe i know it's a big thing i think it's an italian brand let me know let me know could be wrong um but yeah in the uk kiko is so underrated it's not in our drugstores or anything like that which sucks but I remember the first time I went into a Kiko Milano store I think I was in Seville oh my god how gorgeous everything is a work of art and it's so affordable as well like Kiko so underrated gal we all love you we all appreciate you I was introduced to Kiko from um Soph Soph she used to be Soph does nails I think she's just Soph now I'm not sure but she had one of these mega bronzers and she was like OG YouTube this is like 2016 she raved about these bronzers and I just oh. when the one came out like blue this teal blue is probably my favorite color in the world. So when this came out, I was like, this is it. The universe has spoken. I must oblige. And I'm so glad I did. Like, can you imagine finishing this thing though? I think I saw someone on Instagram actually like try to do that. And I was like, girl, <laughs> I mean, good luck, but oh my God. I'll check in in six years and see, you know, see if you're there yet. Okay, I'm pretty happy. I do, oh, these blemishes. Periods are literally the worst thing to ever happen to humanity. Um, I'll die on that hill. I'm not happy. I'm really not. I was working so hard on my skin, like so hard. And then a period has to come in and ruin that. I don't think so. Right, we're gonna use this blush. Um, it doesn't look very nice and aesthetic, but like, trust me, if you see the Rose Fizz Glow from Revolution, I don't even know if it's still a thing, but if you see it in store, pick it up for this shade alone. There is another shade in there that's a bit naff. It's like a really pale, it's like the opposite to this. This is like a red with a gold shift. That one was like a white gold to a red shift, which just looked a bit weird. I don't know, I don't like that one. Decluttered that one, kept this one, because it's freaking gorgeous. I know I say this about every single makeup product, but I would love to finish this one day. But like, it's a blush. So realistically, is that gonna happen? Probably not. Okay, now I am being prepared to be severely underwhelmed. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was originally. I know like I am the last person to ever give a review of Becca because like who actually cares anymore? It's done. I was under the impression that like Becca highlighters were in the same universe as like Ofra highlighters. I have Ofra glazed donut and it is honestly you can see me from space. It is the most blinding thing. Like, this is nice. This is more every day, though. This isn't, like, oh my god, so blinding. 
or maybe that's just my makeup taste being kind of out there. I have also come to the conclusion I don't think I like the AOA concealers now. It's just a bit too thick for me. I don't know, I'm turning into a natural girly. I'm not, I'm not. My eyes aren't, but like my base, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna run those purples under my lower lash line again. I'm just gonna do the same that we did on the upper lash line, upper lash line. I always say that in the crease, the crease, Caitlin. It's the crease. Okay, I'm actually really liking this. This is so cute. I'm gonna put, if I can find the brush, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of Moonstone. Is this, yeah, Moonstone. Did I even tell you what shade this was? Sorry. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of Moonstone on the inner corner. Oh, I feel like a little Easter egg. How cute is that? Okay, I'm gonna run off camera. I'm gonna finish off, do my brows, uh, do my lashes. We'll probably do the lips as well. We'll put on this. Um, and then yeah, I'll come back with the finished look. Take my hair out. Normally I'm in my onesie when I film these things. So um, I don't have to get dressed because I'm already dressed. I've got this like cute, should we do a fit? A fit check, is that what the kids say? I don't know, I'm old. Top, boom, jeans, oh God, hang on. Rip jeans, boom. We're living life. How do I get down? And that was my daily exercise. Okay, I'm gonna go do my lashes, come back looking gorgeous, and then debrief. Okay, I'm back and we've finished the look and I actually love this look. I think it's so, 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 so cute. It is not what I normally go for. And I actually, like, don't, don't fall down. Make sure you're sat down right now. But I was so close to just not putting lashes on for this look and just leaving my natural, like, mascara lashes, um, which is mad for me. I love my big lashes. I adore just, like, the bigger the better when it comes to lashes but i decided against it today and i actually really enjoy it like yeah i just put some ardell wispies on um i put a lip gloss on and i actually found the perfect water liner for this look this it's like a cool tone purple it's called crybaby from colourpop and yeah it goes really nicely in the water line the shimmer in this look again i've got to zoom you in look how stunning oh my god these pastel roses shades are literally something else like if you're going out in like low light oh the camera just doesn't do it justice on normal settings like look at that like it still looks beautiful but like come on so yeah i'm feeling very fresh very not cake face even though we did cake our face quite a lot as always but yeah very light very airy um i'm feeling like a new woman i really am i really am so yeah this was a very long video <laughs> i hope you did enjoy it are you gonna recreate this look i obviously recreated it from angelica nikvist i think she's insane she is so beautiful so stunning and yeah as i said every look i just want to recreate because i love her i hope you're having an incredible day let me know what you did for easter like i said before stay safe and i will see you in the next video bye bye